Hi, and welcome to Overheard at Career Education. My name is Denny, and I work in the Office of Career Education. And today, uh, I picked a topic. Uh, it's entitled, uh, it's kind of phrased as more of a question, uh, should you stick it out? And I'll get to a little bit more of what I'm talking about uh, very shortly. And, and what prompted me to do this is recently I met with a student who was struggling uh, in an online science class to the point where they were actually thinking of changing their major so that they would not have to take said science class. Of course, it, at first glance especially, to me, it seemed a little bit extreme uh, to want to change your entire career trajectory because of the difficulties uh, that are being experienced in that one science class. So that being said, I started to think of it more from the student's perspective, everything from the new online learning environment, other stressors in life and, and matters like that. So I feel like it, the more I pondered it, the more it kind of, it kind of, I kind of put myself in the student's shoes and I started to understand a little bit more about where they were coming from. So, uh, and, and I would say in particular, the student had indicated that the online learning environment uh, right now seemed to be more of an issue than necessarily the content of that science class. Uh, I pretty much had point blank asked them if, if this were an in-person class, do you feel that you'd be performing better? And I, I don't know that I even completed the sentence uh, before they indicated that yes, they, they feel that it would have made a world of difference. So if you're struggling to learn online, if you found yourself in a similar situation to that student, uh, here is my advice and here are some things to think about, uh, especially pertaining back to the original question, should you stick it out? Number one, you want to consider your habits and your self-discipline. Learning online takes more of a concerted effort. Everything from paying attention during class to staying organized with assignments might be tougher. I've heard students express over and over this semester that it has been tougher for them in both of those areas as well as others. So my question to you is this, are there areas in which you could improve? Can you name any of them uh, even right now in your mind? Uh, are there any areas as far as uh, just uh, your habits, your self-discipline that you could stand to do a little bit better in? And furthermore, who can you go to advice for on this? Do you have anyone you can talk to about that? We can, do, we can talk about that a little bit in career education. Of course, academic advisors, faculty, maybe if you think back to whoever you had for Uni 100, I guarantee you most of them would still be happy to talk to you if you run into these things. You might even find that, uh, that fellow students might be able to give you some help in those uh, areas as well. But online classes, even under the most normal uh, of circumstances, can be challenging, and they put a lot more responsibility on the student. You you don't have someone reminding you all the time that you need to do stuff and not necessarily that you do with in-person classes either. But uh, during my college career, um, I had actually had transferred schools and in an effort to graduate on time and to keep up, which, which I did end up doing, uh, I took some online classes one summer and I barely passed both of them. I graduated, my undergrad GPA was right around a 3.0, so it was pretty good. Uh, those summer classes definitely pulled me down a little bit. I did not do well on them. And, and a lot of that was my own fault because I, I know in particular, one was a science class. And, and by the way, this was not at Marshall. Uh, this was uh, at the school where I did undergrad. And for instance, one of them was a science class and the, the professor assigned things in modules, meaning that uh, a list of work would be due on June 1st, another whole list of work would be due June 15th and so on and so forth. So if a module was due on June 15th, you know, guess who was uh, spent all of June 14th uh, throwing it together? That would be me. So looking back, I realized what a, you know, what a bad way uh, to go about it that that was. And I'm, I'm happy that I passed, but that I definitely could have changed some of my own habits. And, and even if I didn't excel in those classes, I could have definitely done a lot better. So is there a particular class with which you were struggling or are you struggling all around? If you're struggling with one class in particular, it could be a sign that you'll struggle later down the road uh, in that given major. And it, it really depends on what it is, uh, particularly if it's a class that's key to your major and you're struggling in that. Uh, I, I mean, I've met with a number of students in the time I've worked here, and, and it puts some interesting options on the table. Sometimes a person does have to change majors. Sometimes it's a matter of figuring out, okay, this course is, is killing me, <laughs> but it's, it's an obstacle, and how, how do I get around this obstacle? 
Uh, sometimes a weeder class might be causing you issues, and I, I know there's probably someone on campus who's going to get mad at me for calling, for even suggesting that there are weeder classes. Uh, you'll never open a, a course catalog and see a class called a weeder class, but we all know they're there. We all know they exist, and a lot of us can probably name what a few of them are. So whether we want to acknowledge it publicly or not, you know, we know it exists. So a weeder class might be causing you some issues. So that said, uh, is it really that class or the fact that it's virtual? And in some cases, it can be hard to say. Are you struggling with the online learning? Uh, or is it, uh, is it just a matter of the, the, it's a subject area and no matter if I was in person or virtual, it's, uh, it's starting to wear on me. So trying to get an honest assessment to that, that's something to think about as well. The other thing I encourage people to think about is taking the long view uh, look at matters. So do you want to sacrifice your ultimate career goal over a short-term setback? If you change your major now, will you be happy with what you're doing in 10 or 20 years? And the student that I mentioned toward the beginning of the episode, that's what I had tried to uh, talk to them about, and I really wanted to make sure they understood, is that in the short term, you might be avoiding an obstacle. But you know, when, you, when you get to be my age, you start to think about this a little bit. Not that I'm all that much older than students, but, but th I, I did the math, and I'm 15 years older than this year's incoming freshmen. So I've, I've been out there a little bit and had a little more experiences. And when you get into your 30s, are you going to be truly enjoying what you're doing? Or is, is uh, changing majors, changing life trajectory because of one or two classes now, is that is that setting you on a trajectory that in 10 or 15 years that you're not going to be happy with and and you know if you're, if you're sitting there listening to this and thinking these are tough questions and you know, you're absolutely right but this is just some food for thought and these are some things you want to ask yourself so are you better are you better off calculating a new strategy to get to your ultimate career goal than changing that goal that's probably the million dollar question right there these would be difficult questions to answer for a number of reasons uh, including that we are often our own worst judges. Now, that being said, uh, like I've said previously, you don't have to go at it alone. The Office of Career Education is here to help you with that. So if you if the things that I've been describing so far in this episode, if they seem just a little bit too relevant, a little bit too real, and you'd really like someone to talk to about it, you know, make, a, make an appointment with us. Uh, we'll be here during the winter break, uh, or rather other than the winter break uh, closure, when the, when the university is closed down for winter break, we're not here. But uh, prior uh, to the winter break and then after we all come back prior to classes starting we will be around so uh, if you decide that you want to take some of that time maybe the week or two before classes start and you want to you know new year new semester or you want to kind of talk to someone and get an idea of where things are headed uh, we'd love nothing more so definitely uh, seek us out for that so I will say, I'll just wrap up here with a couple of closing thoughts. It's been an unusual semester. Uh, don't need to say that again, right? Uh, but from my point of view, most students have handled the curveballs well, uh, surpassing my expectations in most cases. Uh, that being said, unfortunately, we have at least one more unusual semester ahead of us, so we can't get complacent just yet. So hopefully these thoughts have given you something to consider. And, and like I said, uh, please reach out to me or any of my awesome colleagues for an individual meeting at any time. That's why we're here. We'd love nothing more than uh, to sit down and talk with you because of a couple reasons. Number one, uh, on, a, on a podcast, I can give you some general principles, but I, there's no way I can give one size fits all answers. But even more importantly, it, it's amazing what it can do just to sit down uh, and talk with an actual human being, <laughs> an actual person, uh, talk to them about these things things. And, and uh, just to, those of us have been around a little bit longer just to get our insight on it and just have us, you know, hopefully, you know, put things in perspective for you a little bit more. So if you're up in the air, if you're not sure, definitely just, uh, just consider that. But anyway, I want to thank you again for joining me on Overheard at Career Education, and I hope you'll join me back here next time. <laughs>